In a significant milestone in the F-15EX program, the US Air Force's newest F-15EX fighter jet has fired the Mach 4 capable 160 km range aim 120D advanced medium range air-to-air -air missile to target a BQM-167 target drone for the first time, and Boeing officials have said that the F-15EX will have the capability to carry hypersonic weapons. Boeing has also offered the F-15EX to the Indian Air Force under the 114 MRFA program, and while the first batch of F-15EX fighters being bought by the US Air Force will be powered by General Electric's F-110 engines, India has also been offered the latest variant F-100 PW-229 by Pratt & Whitney, that will extend the typical depot maintenance interval from 7 to 10 years, and provides a 30% life cycle cost reduction over the life of the engine. The Indian Army has floated a request for information for the procurement of 814 mounted gun system in April 2020, to identify probable Indian vendors for the manufacture of the 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system under the Buy Indian category or Buy and Make Indian category. The DRDO along with private sector partners have offered its advanced towed artillery gun system mounted on 8x8 truck that will weigh a total of 35 tons, but there is no clarity when the first prototype will be developed for trials and demonstration purposes. The Danush Howitzer-based mounted gun system developed by Gun Carriage Factory is the second indigenous gun in the competition, and it has completed internal trials and has been offered to the Army for user trials. The Army also received offers from three private sector companies in collaboration with international vendors. The Army has not specified weight limitation in its request for information, but has asked for a minimum of 50% indigenous content. In another significant success of the Make 2 project, the Indian Navy has signed a contract with Finite 4 Engineering Consultancy Private Limited for six deep seaside scanned sonar towing winches. It has a length of 4 feet and a stainless steel hardware protected for marine environment. Two micro-small and medium enterprises have also been awarded certificates for conformance on successful trials of developed prototypes. The Indian Army has spent only 40% of its capital budget for the ongoing financial year, and the Army will have to return the money to the Ministry of Finance if orders are not placed. One of the reasons for the delay in Army's spending was the capping of capital budgets for domestic procurements, as the Army wanted to procure more imported systems, and the government has now increased the allocation to 68% for the upcoming financial year. Major indigenous orders that are waiting Army orders are increasing every year, that includes light combat helicopter, wheeled armored platform, as well as the purchase of quick reaction surface-to-air missile that has also completed its user trials, while Russia is lobbying hard for big-ticket items like futuristic infantry combat vehicle and future-ready combat vehicle to be of Russian origin. The ISRO is gearing up to launch its third lunar exploration mission Chandrayaan-3 in August 2022. Many related hardware and special tests have been successfully completed, and the mission is meant to demonstrate lunar landing and lunar roving capability. <laughs> India has announced its intention of developing remote villages all along its northern borders, to bring in infrastructure roads and communication networks to these remote areas. The program will include construction of village infrastructure and housing, tourist centers, road connectivity, provision of renewable energy, and support for livelihood generation.